Assalamu alaikum dear friends, I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site youtube channel. So dear friends, today I am starting about the how to read structural drawing and architectural drawing. So our first video is about how to read a structural drawing for RCC wall or retaining wall. In this video I will show you also the general so how to start uh, studying a drawing from where you have to start, how you will to, uh, see the general notes and from where you have to take the start to study the structural drawings and in next videos also we will upload videos about how to read the architectural drawings because like for block work gypsum work tiling ceiling etc so let's move toward the laptop screen hello dear friends this is the key plan of our project here we have two walls these was open areas in King Khalid International Airport and here we have to demolish some part of the wall and then we have to make slabs. For that we have to demolish some part of the wall and reconstruct that wall, extend the walls, tell the soffit of the beam and then we have to make the slab. So he, I will just discuss the how to read the structural drawing generally and then I will show some reinforcement details and bar bending schedule about the structural drawings. So here we have these two walls, one wall this one and these two walls are typical same and these two walls are typical same so these are w2 wall name is w2 at this both wall are w1 keep plan you are, we are using just to find the location of the member of the structure so now let's go to our main drawing this is our drawing before reading any drawing you have to check as general notes general notes all dimension in will be in millimeter for all mostly drawing the dimension and millimeter level and elevation are in meter do not scale it's a restriction do not scale just read the written dimension technical point top bar supply shall be at the middle of beam clear span and bottom bar supply shall be at the right of center of support unless otherwise noted concrete which type of concrete should be used c35 class of concrete should be used what is the meaning c35 concrete which has a compressed resistance of 35 mpa in saudi arabia there is a classes of concrete like c35 c20 c17 it means c mean compressive strength 35 35 mpa after 28 days for column r c wall foundation beam and ferrofit wall all project we should use the structural concrete should be c35 compressive strength 35 after 28 days and which type of cement will be used in the concrete the, the structure which, which has a connection with the earth weather or soil so we will use type 1 cement with micro silica and the structure which has no connection with weather and soil we will use only type 1 cement so put it this in the mind this is a technical point where we have the concrete has a connection or contact with soil or direct weather so we there we are using type 1 cement with micro silica and what will be the aggregate size so the aggregate size for the concrete mix design is 20 mm maximum for being greater slab wall and columns minimum concrete core for bar shall be for the concrete which will we have contact with weather or soil like foundation or cc wall like that for that we have 50 mm concrete cover minimum 50 mm concrete cover and as per aramco standard we are using 70 mm but in our project we are using 50 mm or 5 cm concrete cover for the uh, uh, concrete against ground or exposed weather 40 mm per column or uh, beams 25 mm per slab joint and wall which type of steel bar will be used so here we will use as per ASTM A615 grade 60 steel bar will be used for all the enforcement in the project it's whatever it's a column beam slab whatever it, it will be grade 60 as per ASTM A65 615 these are the notes about the num uh, number of drawings so now let's come to our drawing as I told you that the area was open and we were going to demolish some part of the wall and after that we have to extend that wall to make a concrete slab so from here this area to this that was existing wall and we demolish this part of the wall this from here this part of the wall we demolish you can see new demolition line so from this line to this line we demolish the wall like here the 
3.1 meter 4.5 meter 4.6 meter and downside you can see this is the existing wall you can see all this which is the hedge this is the existing wall and this is the demolished part we have to demolish this part and then we have to reconstruct this wall these are the proposed slab the, the slab which we will construct for this construction of this left we make this structural wall to support to give support to this beam and support to the slab so here you can see these are the levels this type of uh, points is used for level like top of beam this is the top of beam which is level is 0 0.6 minus 0 0.60 arrival road here is a road so this is the arrival road level and this is the top of concrete level this is also in the top of concrete for upstand and you can see proposed upstand beyond to match with us but and after completing the slab where we have upstands or you can upstand our parapet wall are same so the total length of this wall is 8.3 meter okay and then you can see existing parking facility existing staircase core wall there are some here in this area there is a some staircases existing which is present from start and this is top of beam you can see here there's an existing wall to be demolished till socket of the beam these are a socket of beam so till here it, the existing wall should be demolished Shall be demolished and wrapped into amplitude of 6 mm. And it should be after demolishing all this surface will be rough. Like we have to finish the smoothest. This surface should be make it rough in. Why to make it rough in? To make a good bonding between the old concrete and new concrete. And making bond between old and new concrete, we have to apply the approved bonding agent. Here we have the Savito approved bonding agent to apply between existing and new concrete to make strong bond. So now let's this I see it's wall to reinforce elevation existing and new. So now here this is the bar bending schedule for this wall. So here you can see bar bending schedule RC wall to vertical spliced reinforcement. So these are the vertical. So here say bar mark. These are the important things. So whenever you see this thing in the drawings, at least it mean bar mark, steel bar mark, and this is a bar type, vertical, vertical, or is vertical. And dia. This is mean diameter of the bar. So whenever you see this in the drawings, it means diameter of the bar. Bar spaces. So this is the space for the bar, like 30 cm, 30 cm number of bar these are the number of bar for different vertical bars and bar shape these are the bar shape you can see this is in here the dimension for the bar shape is here 4.6 meter and this will be 24 cm and total length is uh, add this to this one so you will get this length these are the bar marks so now i will show you this bar mark here and there and you have to use this bar on that position okay these were the reinforcement the vertical reinforcement so now here we have bar bending schedule for vertical these were uh, vertical spliced reinforcement these are vertical add reinforcement additional bar so you can here you can see these are the bar mark so where you are find this this will be bar, bar mark bar mark and this is the bar type vertical bar diameter bar spacer number of bar bar shape and total length now come here to the drawing so you can see detailing a vertical steel and uh, arrangement for the rc wall now see it see this is the bar mark 63 so come here and check the 63 this is the 63 diameter is six, uh, 16 diameter and spacing will be 30 and one number of diabar so see 63 spacing should be 30 centi and you have to use it here on this location with the existing parking facility you have the use the this is the bar mark this type of bar you have to use with here with near with the parking facility in 62 this is the 62 bar mark 
and you have to use it here 62 63 with this arrangement you have to use all the range for men and you have to instruct your poor men to use it like this now see this was the old wall this is the new wall so when you are going to make the reinforcement so you have to provide splice splicing our uh, bars with new one meter minimum one meter splice should be there when you are overlapping overlapping a new bar and the existing bar there should be one meter overlap between the new and existing bar throughout the wall see this is the overlap or splice 100 mm or one meter so here you see when you demolish the wall so you have to not cut the steel bar and you have to provide one meter length uh, slab for all steel bar you can see these are the new and this is the existing right so 100 meter splice and these are the bar marks which i told you so and with this arrangement you will provide the vertical reinforcement okay now let's go toward the these are the main reinforcements and this is the detail of vertical scene against RC World 2 you can see it's they it make it more and more clear here see existing wall new wall and this is the uh, another side like when there are two side of the wall with one side of the wall you have to provide these bar mark like 65 61 like this is the one piece of the wall okay so you will use this uh, bar bending schedule and you will use this detail to provide one piece of the wall for another face of the wall you will come here and you have to use this see 90 same vertical but for the other face of the wall the diameter of the steel bar are changed 20 diameter 20 diameter vertical these are the bar mark and this is the bar shape so now come to the C 90 91 92 93 these are the bar marks and the location for the mar marks so you have to provide these bars in this location as part their bar mark and the uh, diameter for all the vertical bars in the other face uh, the is die is 20 diameter you can see all is 20 diameter and this the spacing is same 30 centi spacing and one 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 number of bar you have to provide in each face so it means and this is the uh, reinforcement detail for the wall so there are two face of the wall and one face of the wall you have to provide 60 16 diameter reinforcement as per the bar mark details and other side you have to provide 20 diameter steel bar and the, sp uh, the supply of the lapping length is 1 meter as you can see this is a 1 meter 1 meter will be the overlapping length now let's come to the these are the horizontal so you can see now this is the horizontal bar mark 117 118 horizontal mark and the diameter of the bar is 16 dia overall and the same 30 centi splicing two number of dia will be used why because in the vertical different dia used there so because of that we use one uh, one number of bar but here we will use two number of bar on the each face and these are the shape of the bar slide on each face you have to provide these bars you can see one two three these are the vertical reinforcement for the wall and here you will use 16 dia bar and the distance between two will be 30 centi you can see here 30 centi and two mean each face one on this face and one against the bar so this is the horizontal arrangement and here you can see one meter will be splice when you are providing the bars so you have to make one meter one meter splice or one meeting one meter lapping length between two bars and during providing the horizontal bars 
and now all the same typical detail top up bar uh, top up uh, beam road level top up concrete top up concrete and this is this uh, overlapping length one meter as per drawing as per approved drawing so this was the structure drawing for rcc wall so guys just summarizing it when you are going to read the structure drawing you have to uh, check the general notes from there you will get about the minimum cover of concrete design of concrete steel bar type of use will be for the activity and all the about the dimension you will get all the details and then you have to come to the structural drawings so in some structural drawing they didn't provide the bar bending schedule you will get the bar bending schedule separately and but in our project as per client requirement we provide the bar bending schedule on the structural drawing so every project has different structural drawing but these are the general things which you should know about the structural drawings and like that you have to check the lapping length how the arrangement of the bar bar mark diameter of the bar how you will find it and how you will find uh, the distance between two bars so these were some notes about the structural drawing if you find the video informative for you or if you have any suggestion to make more uh, uh, informative or videos so please comment your suggestion in the comment box and subscribe our youtube channel if you are a new sub, uh, visitor thank you so much